really actually a, a, a long journey. Um, I started the idea of doing my PhD in biochemistry at the Karoliska in Sweden. And so I went there and uh, for a Portuguese, Sweden was a bit too cold and uh, biochemistry was a bit too dry. So I decided, well, it's not working. And then I went to Miami, which weather-wise is as different as it gets. And it turns out that um, I started working on corals and I realized that, you know, it was known, but I did know that corals live in these colonies. And if you actually bring a coral from another colony, you will reject it. A lot like we're in transplant, we reject organs uh, that are unmatched. Uh, and so even corals have kind of an immune system. So it did hit on me how fundamental really uh, the immune system was and how far back in, in evolution has actually uh, has a presence. And, and so then I decided that immunology was really a cool science and the experience in up to today, really immunology, it's still, uh, except for a few of genetic diseases, pretty much touches all parts of um, therapeutics and, and diseases. Um, and so I, I still feel that that is, it was the right choice. So not surprisingly, I'm going to tell you following the science is the most important thing. You have to follow the science because you don't follow it. Eventually, it will catch up with, you know, with you. Obviously, there are other considerations like the probability of success, the clinical development paths and others, but, uh, but it has to really be focused on a scientific hypothesis and scientific knowledge and following it. Um, and also then taking some risk. Obviously the risk has to be uh, calibrated with other, um, other perspectives, but definitely uh, you know, no big discoveries or drugs were really uh, achieved without some kind of, 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 uh, taking it, of risk taking. So uh, I think those are pretty much the two. And obviously then there are, the devil is in the details. So then there are a lot of details, but those two are really fundamental, I believe. So at, at this stage of my career, I was really looking for something that was not only different from what I've done before, but also exciting. What I really like about pioneering medicines is really uh, the opportunity to look at what's out there, what's out there in terms of different platforms, different targets, uh, different opportunities. So we're not bound to a target, we're not bound to a pathway, we're not bound to a platform. Um, I have ADD, so for me having that kind of options is really, um, it is really fascinating and I've already I had the opportunity to be in a couple of those discussions and it's really, it's really amazing because you can use it both ways. You can look at uh, the other company's platform or targets or, and see well, how we could actually appear in help and help you know, broaden the portfolio, but we also can have our own questions and our own uh, problems that we want to solve and then see which one of the platforms would be the best one to, um, to achieve that. And so having that kind of optionality and having that kind of opportunity to really leverage all these different science and, and technologies, is, it's really, I think, unprecedented. Mm -hmm.